Hello and welcome to my channel, or welcome back. My name is Jess. I'll be your paint instructor today. We will be painting this captivating, expressive, and adorable snail together. She or he is beautiful. So don't forget that you can pause, rewind, whatever you need for the duration of this video. I've also included the chapters, so if you're done with a step and you're ready to move on, you can go to the next section. All right, let's get started in three, two, one, go. All right, we're gonna start with the background. We're gonna use blue paint on the edges um, up here, and we're gonna use crisscross motions and then work in white paint and blend it together using kind of a crisscross pattern. Uh, you can use a, a little paint with a slightly wet brush. I'm using a one inch brush and I'm just gonna go back and forth. All right, now you're gonna take green and just cover this bottom quarter of your painting. You can do some, with the sharp edge of your brush, you can do some strokes upward, but mostly we just need a base layer of green and we'll add the details of the grass later. Next step is we're going to take some white and continue with our one inch paintbrush and we're going to form the base for the mushroom which is going to be kind of off to the side and our cute adorable snail will be here. We're just going to see the underside of the mushroom so that's what we'll focus on. So yeah, I'm just making one simple shape that's going down and then we're gonna do sweeping motions across. After that, I'm gonna take a little burnt sienna or a brown color and work in some of the details for the mushroom, the, what are those called? You know what I'm saying. Yeah, let's get to it. All right, as I continue with this one inch paintbrush, I'm just gonna put a little burnt sienna on the stem and blend it in. And then we'll let this part dry and we'll do another layer. We're gonna do a very similar strokes. So it's just gonna be with the half inch paintbrush, just so we have more details um, for this mushroom. All right, let that part dry and I'll see you in the next step. Let's get started on the next layer. Uh, we're gonna take our quarter inch paintbrush, dip it in some burnt sienna or brown and just continue this sweeping motion throughout the bottom of this mushroom. After I go through with several lines of burnt sienna, I'm gonna do the same thing with white, back and forth, back and forth. I'm also gonna add, you know, different lines Maybe some wiggly lines and stuff to the stem. All right, let's do it. All 
And one thing to add here is I'm just making sure that I'm making some clear definition between the stem and the background. So making sure I kind of create this idea that there's a line here. And we'll kind of go back and forth uh, between the bottom part of the mushroom and then adding some more detail to the stem, make sure it really pops out and that it has a home. All right, back at it. All right, we're continuing with the half inch or so paintbrush. Our mushroom stem is mostly dry or all the way dry, and we're going to make the slug's body. Now, the first time I made it, I did the, a dark brown shell and a light brown body. I decided after looking at it, it needs a little more color, so I'm actually going to do kind of like a red mushroom top inspired shell. I know that's not the real color of snail shells, but I think for the sake of this illustration, it will look really cute. So, <clears throat> what I'd suggest doing is using a brown or uh, a light brown. Once again, I made brown by blending blue and red until I get purple. Then you add yellow until you get this nice brown color. Then you can lighten it with some white, if that's what you want to do. I'm going to take this color, this light brown color, and do the snail's head and body first. All right, let's get into it. So as you can see, I have made a circular shape for the head. We're going to pull it down, wiggle, wriggle it across, and go up and fill all that in. show I'm gonna take some red and burnt sienna or a little red and brown just make it a slightly dark red and we'll go around in a circle fill it in not too worried about how it's shaped right now I'm not too worried about these two colors blending because we're just kind of laying the foundation for this snail Alright, I am just going to kind of make my swirl. You probably won't be able to see this on camera, but my paint is slightly wet. I just want to know where to shade for when we come back and add the shadows to the shell. So it's mostly just for you to see. So that when we go through and we do this motion, you have a guide to where you're going. The snail's eyes. We're gonna go, you can use the sharp edge of your brush and do two tentacles that go down. And I'm gonna put fairly big circles. My snail's gonna have some big eyes. Big, sparkly eyes. Cause he is my friend. All right. There. Cool. Let that dry and we will come back. We are going to put a second layer of light brown on this guy if you need it. If not, that's okay. Don't do it then. No? Okay. Make sure the 
got all of the background colors covered. Then I'm gonna go through with some white and like a really light yellow. I'm gonna create some texture by using this flat brush and just dabbing it throughout the back of the head and the front of the chest area and just add some highlights over here. All right, and again. Add uh, just a slight highlight up here. Even though most of this will be covered by his eyeballs, I don't know. Hmm? I have now red with a slight burn sienna. I have mixed some of my red in with my brown. I hope I'm done using my brown. If not, I can grab from up there. And I have a light pink. Let's get into the shell. Um, I'm gonna start by just placing a reference line with this dark red. So I know like where the center of the shell is. And let's see, I want it to go up and around. One second, there's a dog. Yes, JD. Would you like to be in my video? Come on, go ahead. Go get up there. You ready? Can I get started now? Okay. So with this dark, you could this dark reddish brown color, I'm just kind of sketching out a swirl. It's just gonna go up and around into the back where the tail is. Now I'm going to take that color, I'm going to make sweeping motions that go around the shell. Okay? Until I get to the middle. I'm going to take my light color and that's gonna kind of go. That's gonna go in the middle. So you just want to have it go all the same direction. I'm gonna take my normal red from the outer edge and bring it in. And we're just gonna keep doing this, placing the same three colors in the same area. So dark red goes in the middle, this light highlight goes in the middle, and this normal red color is gonna be kind of on the outside just to help blend those colors together. I'm thinking I'll probably do all this with the same uh, paintbrush, so let's get to it. Right, you should have something that looks like this. You can always just go through and keep blending those colors once you lay down kind of the framework. Uh, so let's let that dry and we will move on to the last and final detailed steps. I'm gonna take some white paint. I don't know if I'll regret this or not, but hey, you gotta try stuff sometimes. And I'm gonna give him some just some, you know, mushroom-esque spots.
Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. All right. I think I like it. I might add some more white circles as I look at it. But for now, I'm going to move on. I'm going to do the black eyes. And then I the key is to having your paint just a little loose so I'll have a little water on it. Huzzah. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, okay, I'm going to go find my paintbrush. I found it. So I'm going to take my small jar. There's just a teeny tiny bit of water in there. I'm going to make sure my black paint and my palette's very loose. And I like to even just dip the tip of my paintbrush back in the water again before I start outlining things. Something like that. Kind of mess that up. That's okay though. Yeah, let's blast off into hyperspeed. It's time to add the highlights. I'm trying a lot harder this time to not get in front of the painting, so hopefully that worked out for me. So we're doing two big circles, a medium circle, and a small circle in his eye. <laughs> so cute. I'm going to go through and add some more white spots. I don't even know if those are spots because I'm doing very, I'm not really doing, I'm not trying to have circles. Very organic. Beautiful. Oh, last step. We gotta just bring up a little bit of grass. You're welcome to do that. I'm gonna probably be using this quarter inch brush for this last part. It's nice loose green paint. Just make some cross lines. Feel free to leave uh, name ideas and suggestions for this little guy in the comments below. Always love it. Don't forget to sign your work and you can slowly peel your tape off for the final results of your beautiful new painting. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Please don't forget to use this hashtag on Instagram if you want to share what you did today with me. I would love to see it. Um, but yeah, just thank you so much for coming. Feel free to subscribe. I really enjoyed this painting. It made me feel very happy. But yeah, like this video if you liked it. Leave a comment below. What should her name be? Or his name? What are you going to name your snail? Alright, we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.